So in the previous Cursed Weapons episodes, I mostly focused on bigger weapons. More powerful, complex, double-handed machines. But this one I want to start with utilities. Grenades, knives, smaller, simpler stuff. So let's do it. Oh, and if you are new and you don't know what I'm talking about, there's a hidden feature in this game that allows you to create weapons. To activate that, you spawn on this map, right? And if you remember, to the left, there's a room with a lot of books in it. So what you have to do is you just have to press E on one of those books and this Easter egg should activate. <laughs> I don't exactly remember which one it was though, uh, Mein Kampf 2? No. 9-11 for Dummies by Jordan? No. Enlarge your penis in 30 mi- No. Oh? Ah, there it is! Gullible's Travels. So, you just press E on it, and if you look back, this machine will come out of the ground! This is a Weapon Mixer 7000. So basically what it does is you choose two or more weapons from the panel, then you press the combine button and out comes a combined weapon. Alright, for the first one let's go with something small, as I said, so a default knife would be a good base. Let's combine that with something silent, like an USPS, and something with a scope, so an op. And that foregrip will come in handy from the UMP. And if we press the combine button, out comes... A tactical silenced knife, also known as... Might seem ridiculous to you, but there's more to this weapon than you think. What happens when you knife someone in CSGO? Their screen goes red, their health goes down, knife makes a swinging sound, and the blood sound is weirdly sexual. All those problems are eliminated with a silenced knife. The swinging sounds are absorbed by the silencer and not only that, the silencer itself is loaded with a special serum that when you stab someone, completely numbs the stab area, making it impossible for the enemy to detect or feel a stab. It also comes with a scope for long-range stabbings, a bipod for stable stabbings, But if you are the type of person that prefers damage over the peace and quiet, then the tactical silence knife also comes with a bayonet attachment. Double the knife, double the damage. One of the most underrated weapons that have ever been created by the weapon. Why stop on a knife? Let's choose a grenade now as a base and combine it with a USPS and the op. And if we press the combine button, out comes the silenced grenade. What happens when it No, James! No, 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 no! What happens when you throw a grenade? It makes a ground hitting sound and it makes a huge explosion sound that can be heard from all over the map. Not anymore. The silenced grenade takes care of all those problems, completely eradicates both the ground hitting and the explosion sounds, and the explosive material is also filled with the same serum as the silenced knife. No one will feel a thing. Of course, it also comes with a scope. The silenced grenade is so effective, they don't even know it yet, that they are dead. Oh, oh, oh. Insanely effective against groups... <laughs> Alright, let's go back to big weapons now. Let's go with M4 as a base, and then let's choose the least reliable weapons that are on this panel. Least reliable in real life, and we gotta start with a Tech 9, known to be very unreliable. Next one, Mac 10, a submachine gun, jams sometimes, an automatic CZ, which can also jam, a taser, useless against someone with clothes, and a Molotov, for obvious reasons, and if we combine all of these, out comes... The M4M. M4M, created by one of the most beloved vehicle companies out there. Now this is a cool gun. Comes with a twin exhaust, liquid-cooled barrel to eliminate overheating and recoil, adapt to flashlights that shine the light right in the enemy's eyes, a twin turbocharged magazine uses gunpowder fumes to spool up the turbos which feed the chamber faster, giving the weapon a much higher fire rate and a sweet sound.
Oh man, a true car guy's weapon. But it does come with a cost. First of all, the headlights are too bright. Yes, it will blind the enemy, but it will annoy your teammates too. Because the weapon has an auto tailgate mode that can't be turned off. Whenever it sees a teammate, it just pushes you as close behind them as possible while the headlights are on. A classic behavior from all the people that use this vehicle brand. Turbocharged magazines. Great idea, but turbos usually need some time to spool up. And that's why the gun doesn't fire exactly when you pull the trigger. You have to hold it for a few seconds and then the power comes on abruptly. <laughs> Liquid cooled barrel. Also a great idea, but the pump that controls the liquid is made out of plastic. It cracks and breaks after only 5,000 rounds and costs about $200,000 to replace. Twin exhausts that point up to reduce recoil. A fantastic idea, but some people modify them and they make them sound like... But those are tolerable. The main problem is that the gun requires a lot of oil to operate smoothly. It burns oil when you shoot it and sometimes it even leaks it out every leaves marks. You can slip and fall on it. Enemies can find your trail. USA might show up. And not only it's already heavy, you have to carry around extra liters of oil on your back for emergencies. And trust me, there will be emergencies. M4M. Brilliant, but unreliable and hard to maintain. I'll take three. I don't give a f Let me hear it again, please. <laughs> and before we move on to the final weapon, today's sponsor is DualBits.com. DualBits offers a lot of games you can choose from. Slots, live games, roulette, dice duels, crash, and many more from multiple, multiple providers. Any game you can think of, you can probably find it in here. Not only that, if you're into esports or sports, for example, football slash soccer, they offer one of the best odds on European soccer leagues, and there's countless other sports you can bet on. My favorite is F1 and MotoGP. They have instant daily, weekly, and monthly rakebacks with a total of 37.5%, one of the highest on the market, available for everyone, not just the VIP members. A very strong and rewarding affiliate systems, crypto, gift card, CSGO deposits, and withdrawals also available. They have a very extensive CSGO marketplace with a price of skins starting from low, going up to very, very high. It's a really well-organized site, guys. Check them out. Thanks to DualBits for the sponsorship and let's move on with the video. And for the final weapon, let's go with something mellow. What if we take an AUG as a base and combine it with an SG553? Very similar weapons and if we combine both outcomes... Binoculars. Binoculars. Why have a scope for only one eye when we have two? We shouldn't have to close one eye to aim at something. That's the main problem binoculars proudly tackles. Aiming with both eyes open relaxes your facial muscles and gives you a better peripheral vision. But as Kanye West once said, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Any change in the design comes with its flaws and you can clearly see it. To use the weapon properly, you have to hold it in a different way, between your eyes, in the center of your body, using your chest and your throat as the support, and you have to put your chin directly on these, directly on the stock of the weapon. It's comfortable and works flawlessly, until you decide to fire. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next one. No, 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 not you, no! Ah!